to the Chevrolet Sports Report, sponsored by your local Chevy dealers. All eyes will be on Fenway Park tonight for Sunday night baseball. The Red Sox looking for the four-game series sweep over their arch rivals, the New York Yankees. Boston enters the night with eight and a half games up over the Bombers for first place in the ALE standings. But David Price, he'll take the hill for the Red Sox tonight. And he struggled in big games during his tenure with the Red Sox, especially in games against the Yankees. Price is just two and six against New York since joining Boston with a 9.21 earned run average. First pitch is set for 8 p.m. tonight. It was day three of Patriots training camp up in Foxborough, but today marked the first padded practice for the New England Patriots this camp. And following day one, quarterback Tom Brady addressed the media for the first time this training camp after a chaotic offseason. Sports Team 10's Joe Chaotta reports from Foxborough. Yankees and Royals in a double header from the Bronx here in game one. It's the top of the fifth. Royals up 2 0. And Salvador Perez singles to center. That would bring home a pair of runs. Royals now up 4 0. Bottom of the fifth. Kansas City up 6 0. When New York responds, it's Giancarlo Stanton striking a two run blast to center field. Kansas City up 6 2. To the bottom of the seventh now, the Yankees down 6-4 when Glaber Torres hits an RBI double the right field. This will score D.D. Gregorius, and the lead is cut to just one run. Kansas City, though, they'd add insurance in the eighth inning. Brian Goodwin sends this three-run homer into the second deck. Kansas City goes on to win the game in game one of the doubleheader, 10-5 the final. Baseball now, the Boston Red Sox are coming off of last night's walk-off 4-3 win in the 10th inning thanks to Mookie Betts' blast to left field. That's Mookie's 25th long ball of the season. Next up, the Sox will continue their weekend series with the Twins tonight at Fenway Park. Nesson's Dave O'Brien joins us now with an exclusive preview. Other minor league baseball action, Bishop Hendrick and Grad and Warwick native Mike King was called up to AAA Scranton Wilkes-Barre, and he was great in his AAA debut for the Yankees. King lasted seven solid innings, allowing just one run on three hits while striking out four. But his bullpen unfortunately would blow the win for King Scranton, falling 6-5 the final. But what a start for the big righty from Rhode Island. Rhode Island has been well represented at the Little League World Series in Williamsport, Pennsylvania in recent years. Having sent a team in three of the last four seasons, today the boys from Coventry began their quest for Williamsport at the New England Regionals from Bristol, Connecticut. The kids from Coventry starting this double elimination tournament against Fairfield, Connecticut. Bottom of the second, Coventry up 2-0 when Tommy Turner laces a single into left center. That scores one of six runs for Coventry in the second inning alone. To the third when Logan Lama goes opposite field to score two and give Coventry a 10-run lead. The offense was hot, but so was Tommy Turner on the hill with a perfect game. He goes four innings, facing the minimum 12 batters over four innings. Congrats to him on the win. Coventry wins this one 10-0, the final in just four innings. Rhode Island now will face Vermont tomorrow at one from Bristol. Day three of Patriots training camp and the first day the team would practice in pads. Also the first day that quarterback Tom Brady spoke to media after an eventful offseason. Rumored turmoil between Brady and head coach Bill Belichick, TB12's absence from offseason voluntary workouts, and a four-game PED suspension for Julian Edelman. Well, a lot has transpired since the Patriots' loss in Super Bowl 52. But the QB entering his 19th NFL season says right now he's focused on one thing, improving. You know, obviously not a lot of things are perfect at this point, so just trying to, you know, focus on one day and try to get better and improve certain things. And we talk about the things that need to be corrected and try to, uh, you know, improve in the next practice. So it's kind of the start of the year for everyone. It's exciting. And, um, you know, hopefully we can make the most of it. While Brady and the Patriots continued to improve through training camp, some questions still left unanswered. Brady didn't have much to say about his relationship with the head coach. Tom, what was your take on any of the, the turmoil or the rumor of turmoil that you guys had in the offseason between yourself and the draft? I have no thoughts. And what about Julian Edelman's trainer and Brady's right-hand man, Alex Guerrero? The quarterback upset over a question from the media about the correlation between Guerrero and Edelman's PED suspension. Um, when Julian uh, tested positive, a lot of people connected it to Alex Guerrero. Just what's your reaction to that? Do you think it's fair? I have no comment. That's yeah, it's just ridiculous. Tom. I'm out. See you guys. Brady and the Patriots will continue training camp for the next week or so until the Washington Redskins come to Foxborough for their first preseason game on August 9th. 
From Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, I'm Stone Freeman, Sports Team 10.